I have been building with AI coding assistants for a while now and honestly the biggest problem is not the AI itself it's the most of us are still just throwing random prompts at the AI and hoping for the best you end up with inconsistent code you lose track of what you asked for and half the time the AI forgets your coding standards halfway through the project so i wanted to test three different frameworks that claim to solve this problem agent os bmed and github packet by building the exact same project with each one and seeing how they actually perform the project i choose is an online image editor app nothing too crazy but i need real functionality a canvas where you can upload images basic editing tools like crop rotate brightness and contrast adjustments and the ability to export your edited image I am using React with TypeScript, Tailwind for styling and Fabric.js for canvas manipulation. For all three frameworks, I am using Cloud Sonnet 4 as the AI model to keep things consistent and I will be working in VS Code throughout. Let me start with Agent OS because this one has pretty unique approach. Agent OS call itself an operating system for AI coding agents and what that mean is it gives your AI a structured three layer context system. Layer 1 is your standard basically how you want to build layer 2 is your product what you are building and why layer 3 is your specs the specific features you are working on right now the idea is that by feeding your ai this layered context it understand not just what to build but how it fits in your overall project and coding style installation is a two step process first you install the base system to your home directory by running curl with the agent os install script This creates a folder called agent os in your home directory with all the default profiles. Then you navigate to your project folder and run the project installation script which compiles agent os in your specific project. The project installation create a dot agent os folder inside your project with all the commands, standards and workflow you will use. Once it's installed, you need to customize your standards. Agent os comes with default standards for things like typescript use component architecture error handling all that stuff but the real power comes when you added these to match your specific preferences i went into the standard folder and updated things like always use functional component prefer composition over inheritance use fabric.js for canvas operations that kind of things this took about 20 minute to get everything configured how i wanted the workflow start with the plan product command you run this once at the beginning of a project or when you first install agent os i told cloud to run slash plan product and it asked me a series of questions about the product vision target users core features and tech stack it documented everything in a product folder with mission statement road map and architecture decisions this phase took about 15 minutes and it felt really thorough finally implement task execute the actual code i run slash implement task and cloud work through each task group checking them off as it completed them the implementation for the upload and canvas feature took about 45 minutes what impressed me was how well it followed my standards The component was structured exactly how I specify in my standard files. Error handling was consistent and it even reused utility functions I had defined earlier. I went through the same cycle for the editing tools features like adding crop, rotate, brightness and contrast controls. The shape spec phase was faster this time because the agent OS already understood the product context. The implementation took an other hour than I did filter as a third feature. adding preset filters like gray scale vintage that kind of thing but the third iteration the workflow felt really smooth because all the context was already documented total time for agent os was about 4 and 1/2 hour for installation to working image editor app with all the feature implemented the code quality was impressive everything was consistent well structured and it actually worked on the first try without major debugging the biggest time invested was the initial setup and customizing standard but once that was done each feature cycle was pretty efficient All right, moving to BMed. BMed stand for Breakthrough Method for Agile AI Driven Development, and it simulate an entire software team using specialized AI agents. You have got a product manager agent, an architecture agent, a Scrum master, a developer, and a QA agent. Each one has a specific role, and you orchestrate them to build your project. 
you run an npx command that sets up bmad in your project directory it create a bmad folder with all the agents templates workflow and documentation structure the process immediately start with heavy documentation i work with the product manager agent to create a product requirement document for the image editor this was incredibly detailed covering market analysis user personas competitive landscape and other similar stuff it took about an half hour just for the prd then i moved into the architect agent to create the technical architecture specification this covered system architecture component breakdown data flow state management strategy third party library choices and performance consideration another hour for the architecture doc at this point i had really comprehensive document but zero code written yet BMAT breaks the project into epics and user stories. Each epic had multiple user stories. For every single user story, you run a manual loop. First, call the Scrum master agent to draft the story with all acceptance criteria and technical details. Then hand it to the developer agent to write the actual code. Finally, pass it to the QA agent to review and test. The editing tools took another three and a half hour. Total time was about seven hour, and the project was not even completed yet. But I have to admit the output quality was exceptional. The design system was more sophisticated than what I got from Agent OS. The component library had consistent patterns, detailed comments, and the code documented was thorough. The QA agent caught edge cases I had not even considered, like what happens when someone upload a corrupt image file. or try to apply filter to an image that's still loading all the features that were implemented worked perfectly no bugs no weird behavior now for spec kit which felt like the middle ground spec kit is maintained by github and it help you work with a single ai assistant through a structured four phase process installation uses uv which is a python package manager you install uv first then use it to install the spec kit cli after that you run specify in it in your project and it scaffold out the necessary files The workflow is specify, plan, task, implement. First phase is specify, where you describe what you want to build and the AI generate a specification document. I told Claude about the image editor and it created a spec with feature description, user flow and functional requirement. This took about 10 minutes. Second phase is plan, where you add technical constraint and the AI create a technical plan. I specify React with TypeScript, fabric.js for canvas. Tailwind for styling, covering component hierarchy, state management approach, file structured and integration point. This also took another fifteen minutes. Third phase is task, where the AI breaks the plan into dependency, ordered checklist. It created task group similar to Agent OS, but the more explicit dependencies. For the core image editor functionality, implementation took about an hour and twenty minutes. Total time with spec kit was about three and a half hour for a complete working image editor. That's faster than the Agent OS and way faster than the BMAD. The code quality was solid, not quite as sophisticated as BMAD's output, but definitely production ready and maintainable. So let's break down what makes these frameworks fundamentally different. First, Agent OS operate at the product level. It's designed for ongoing feature development where you are constantly adding to an existing product. The three layer context system means your AI always understand your standard, your product vision and the current feature you are working on. It's developer centric. You are the one steering the AI through structured workflows. On the other hand, BMAD operate at the project level. It's managing your entire project life cycle from initial planning through quality assurance. It brings enterprise level governance with specialized agents owning specific roles. You are acting as a project manager or testing different specialist. The adoption overhead is massive because you are essentially changing your entire development process. Spec it operate at the feature level. It's focused on individual feature or task within a project. The four phase workflow is lightweight and also adds a structure without taking over your entire process. You are collaborating with a single AI assistant, not managing multiple agents. The adoption overhead is minimal. it integrate into your existing workflow here is my recommendation based on what i learned so far if you are building a product over time with multiple feature and iteration agent os is your best choice the initial time investment in standard and product planning pays dividend as you add more features each sub feature cycle gets faster because the context is already documented if you are working on a small project or just need to add a few feature quickly spec it is the way to go It's fast, it's lightweight, it produces quality result. 
also there is a constitution file give you enough control over standards without requiring heavy setup the github backing means it's well maintained and has a strong community support as well bmad makes sense in very specific scenarios if you are in an enterprise environment where governance audibility and documentation are critical bmad provide that structure industries with compliance requirement like healthcare or finance would benefit from bmad's rigorous process for startup solo developer or small teams the current version is overkill it's worth nothing that bmad version 6 is in development with promised improvement to the workflow but it's currently alpha only pick the one that fits your needs and invest the time to set it up properly and you will get dramatically better result from the ea coding assistant all right so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video